basi kwa majina ni daktari Ruben Jepsongol kiranja wa chama chetu kinachotawala cha UDA Kenya kwanza kwanza kabisa niko hapa asubuhi ya leo nitaka nikuzie ama nataka niongee na watu watatu na niweze kukosoa maongeo ya kiongozi wa mahakama zetu ku justice eh, mother gome kwamba rais wetu hakuwa na maanisha ama hakuwa na lengo mbaya kuhusu mahakama zetu rais rais wetu anasema kwamba mbona mahakama zetu zimetumika kukandamiza za Kenya kwanza na kwa sababu hiyo nataka niseme kwa president wa mahakama zetu kwamba Rais William Samoe Ruto ni mtu ambaye alitangaza tangia wakati alipokuwa akiomba kura kwamba yeye ataheshimu ataheshimu institutions sote ambazo zimewekwa kulingana na sheria ya Jamhuri ya Kenya na akasema kwamba wakati atakaposhika ushugani ya uongozi ya Kenya hii kitu ya kwanza atahakikisha kwamba mahakama setu judiciary wameweza kuwa allocated eh, pesa ya kutosha ili wafanye mambo yao independently na kwa ukweli aliposhika watamu ya uongozi kitu ya kwanza aka akaapisha aka wale machache ambao tayari walikuwa makataliwa na ile serikali ya kwanza ya eh, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta na timu yake kwamba hangeataka hawa majajes waapishwe kwa sababu alikuwa anasema hao majajes walikuwa ni corrupt people na hiyo ilikuwa na William Samoe Ruto akasema kwamba mimi vile eh, wale commissioners wale commission ambao waliweza kuthibitisha kwamba hawa wanatosha kufanya kazi mahakama zetu na wakasema kwamba wanatosha ndipo za William Samoe Ruto akasema vile wamepitishwa atun sina buti hao watu kuapishwa na wakati alipoingia tu siku ya pili akaapisha wa machaches kama Ruto angekuwa ni mtu ya kukandamisa judiciary mbona aliweza kuapisha wa machaches so nataka niongee na gome kwamba tafadhali mama kuwa na heshima William Ruto kama kuna mtu ambaye ni kibenzi ya mahakama zetu ya judiciary ni William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu gani aliwaongezea pesa akaapisha majaji swala ambao walikuwa makatiliwa na uhuru huyo ni mtu na na na, na, na tarao mahakama ndio akasema kwamba kwa sababu wa Kenya wamepatia yeye kasi ya kumaliza mambo ya corruption katika Kenya hii ndio akaanza mambo haya ya corruption kusema kwamba lazima tuweze kupigana na mambo ya ubisat katika Kenya na wakati anaposema kwamba mahakama zetu zingine zimeweza kutumika wale watu en, machaches wengine wametumika kuweza ku shield mambo ya corruption unaona saa hii mambo ya NHIF kulikuwa na shida eh mambo ya NSF kulikuwa na shida naye rais akasema kwamba lazima tuweze kumaliza mambo ya corruption na watu wengine wakaenda kotini wakajifikia kwa mambo ya NHIF kwa sababu walikuwa na kulia hapo walikuwa na kula mwananchi wa Kenya bila kutipu huyo mtu ambaye alikuwa mkonjwa. Kwa hivyo nataka niseme ya kwamba Martha Gome kusema kwamba William Ruto ameingilia mahakama zetu. William Ruto ajaingilia mahakama zetu. William Ruto amesema kwamba kuna kuna mambo ya corruption. Kuna mambo ya corruption, kuna wale wa, wa, watu corrupt people who are using judiciary to, to, to benefit themselves. So William Ruto hakusema kwamba Mahakama setu ni mbaya, majaji wetu ni corrupt. They are not corrupt. Wame, amesema kuna wale wachache ambao wanataka kuharibu mahakama setu kwa kutumika na wale watu wa fenyenye, wale ambao waliweza kumaliza Kenya hii. Hapo ndio amesema, pengine nyinyi amuelewe pale Ruto amesema, amesema kwamba kuna wachache wale wanatuma mahakama setu kukandamiza um, manifesto ya Kenya kwanza wala ambao walikuwa tayari wameona kwamba Ruto ameanza kufufua uchumi ya Kenya hii kwa sababu ukiisaidia mwananchi wa Kenya 
kwa mambo ya hospitali huyu mwananchi apatiwe services atipiwe huyu mwananchi akipona hata tumia pesa mingi na ile pesa ambayo angetumika angetumia inaenda kwa kazi zake zingine na wengine wakasema kwamba hapana Ruto akifaulu kwa hii kitu atakuwa ameyapata mileage mambo ya uchenzi ya manyumba vijana wengi wataachiriwa na wakaachiriwa uchumi ya Kenya inaenda juu wakaona kwamba Ruto atapata nafasi hapa na ataboresha kuliko sisi wengine ndio unaona wanatumia watu wao wanalenga na wanaambia enda kwa fulani wakati anaenda hiyo kote anaongelea anaongelesha ule chat ndio huyu akienda kwa huyu kwa ile koti mambo yake yataenda kwa njia mzuri to za developers ambao Ruto amesema kwamba kuna watu wanashirikiana kuna majaji wanashirikiana eh? na corrupt people eh? to corrupt in Kenya kwanza um, projects ambayo imewekwa kwa hii kusaidia wananchi wa Kenya Ruto hajasema kwamba mahakama zetu judges wetu ni corrupt they are not corrupt there are some individuals wale ambao wamekubali kutumika eh Kul kwa ribu manifesto kwa ribu ile kazi ya Kenya kwanza wameweka kusaidia wananchi wa Kenya ile manifesto ambayo Kenya kwanza waliweka ili waweze kufubua mambo ya uchumi katika Kenya hii kubatilisha maisha ya wananchi wa Kenya so kazi yao ni kuruka tu kotini kuruka unaona hata ile finance bill waliruka huko ni nani alitumika ni nani alikuwa nakataa mambo ya, ya, ya finance bill si ni kwani Raila na timu yake na karibu na wale wengine ikiwa uhuru ndani akijificha ndani so mimi nataka kusema kwamba i want to advise and i want to tell from gabarnet here the chief justice mata kome kwamba william ruto anaposema kwamba kuna kitu hapa usifikirie jamaa ni mtu mchinga anasema kitu ambaye ame, amechunguza na amepata mimi ningelipenda tu Jeep Justice angeenda angeita Atoni General kwamba ndugu yangu kuna kitu rais amesema hapa what can we do ni wapi rais alikuwa anataka lakini sio kwenda kuuliza rais wewe rais ungeuleta hii maneno kwake ungeleta hii maneno kwa huko alafu watu ya wale ambao wanafanya commission as wale wanafanya mambo ya judicial waweze kuchunguza mambo mbaya rais amesema chungeni hapa hapa sio mzuri So kazi ya 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 ya, ya chief justice na timu yake ni kuchunguza yale maneno amesema rais amesema kuna ukweli ama kuna kuna ukweli fulani ama haina ukweli patale ya kutoka nyinyi na kusema oh nyinyi churches nyinyi fanyeni kazi yenu wachana maneno ya rais pula amesema and yet we are trying to fight corruption in this country kama yakisema sasa sisi watu wangu ni sawa wewe na watu wanaweza kutuelezaje kwamba hao watoto yako wote ni sawa Unajuaji bila walikuja chana, unajuaji bila walikuja juzi. You have to investigate. Kama rais amesema kuna shita hapa, go back, sit down, call your people. Mbona tumekuwa point the tapa? What is the problem? Uchunguze pole pole. Mbona hii mambo ya energy app imeweza kukupeleka kotini ili pelekwa na nani? And what was the intention? Mambo ya housing. Mbona ilienda kotini na ilikuwa imeenda punge? What happened? Na ilienda koti. Nani who is handling this case? And then you investigate yourself. Eh? Who confirm what the president is saying? Come and wongo, come and wongo you can advise the the attorney general or even you can advise the president. Kwa mbio your excellency tumejunguza ile maneno umesema atukupata how kweli ya mambo. Ama tumejunguza na tumepata. Now it is your time wewe kutoa sasa directions. Haya maneno yafuatwe. Yule mtu apata apatikan kwa mambo ya corruption aile kesi kulingana na mchipo wa sheria is your ku, ku, ku rubbish what the president has said is the commander in chief and is the one kusaidia kufufua uchumi ya Kenya hii lakini mkisapote na akisema wala ambao wana support serikali yake wengine wanaruka na kuimba imba ngoma huko hata nilikuwa nasikia huyu mwingine ya ya ya, ya naitwa nini hii president ya mawakili eh hii ilikuwa naongea mingi sema oh president tutaenda maandamano maandamano gani wakati walienda maandamano kushutumu walishutumu serikali ya huno ikai kinyata wakasema kwamba hawa wameweza kuingilia wamekufoku poigot mambo ya wamekataa kufuata court orders ama kuimbelemen what eh, court court eh, what the court has ordered them to do eh? 
kwamba William Samoei Ruto amesema kwamba yeye is going to fight with the law. Ile mambo ya court orders ambayo inatolewa na, na, na koti, hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza inafuata. Kama rais William Samoei angekuwa mtu ambaye inafuata sheria, mambo ya CES si angekuwa msahihi kwa ofisi. Mbona akasema kwamba lazima afuate sheria? Na lakini akachunguza akaona kwamba kuna watu wanatumia mahakama setu. Kwa nini? Kwa hii ya NJF kuna watu ambayo walikuwa nakulia hapo. Kwa hii ya housing kuna watu wataka hiki Kenya endelee mbele. Lakini akaheshimu aka court orders. Kama Ruto angekuwa mtu anaheshimu koti, mbona aliheshimu hii mambo ya CS, mambo ya NJF, mambo ya hiyo yote na akasema kwamba wacha koti setu wafanye vile waamusi bila wameamua sisi kama executive tutafuata na akisema a a hapa sijafurahia idi hakuna haki every kenyan has right to complain mahali ambapo hajafurahia so mtu ya LSK nataka ni mueleze rais ya LSK kwamba ndugu yangu waje kuchifanya takatibu sana unakosoa serikali ya William Ruto sana na wakati ule au kwa sawa ya uhuru moyo kenyata sit because muko na mpango moja na Raila na uhuru moyo kenyata ya kusobote kasi ya Kenya kwanza so wacha 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 uwe na heshima you cannot address the head of state the sip kama ni muti yako size yako even William Samoe Ruto is a lawyer that guy is a learned friend like you muti ya LSK hii jamaa na amesomea law ya ni wakili so uwezi kusema kwamba Ruto aelewe kenya nasema Huh? That is why ameheshimu mkoto wa shote Na akasema kwamba wakati ninapoheshimu mkoto wa tas, eh eh kuna kitu fulani hapa ambaye iko sawa. So I want to tell Chief Justice and your team kuwa na heshima. Kuwa na heshima and respect the opinions ya kila mtu katika Kenya hii. William Ruto hakuna right ya kusema hapa sikiakubaliana nyinyi. Na hiyo na haki ya kila mtu. Mbona mnasema oh rais ame, ame, ame na, 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 na judiciary kama angeendavia si mambo ya siasa ingekuwa kwa ofisi kama angeendavia mbona alipatia nafasi NHIA pele mwenda kotini kama angeendavia mbona alipatia nafasi ya house na akisema mkiendelee na mna hii then sita aweza kukubali and even as we are there tuko hapo hii watu wakiendelea kukuturutisha mambo ya Kenya kwanza then i think what i'm going to advise the president is to boycott mambo ya court orders and then you proceed so that you can help these Kenyans kama watu hawana heshima kama watu hawana heshima kama judiciary hawana heshima na William Samoei Ruto rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya pila ameheshimu mahakama setu mpaka sasa hivi mnaanza kuongelesha yeye kama ni mtoto mdogo amujui yeye ni rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mnaongelesha yeye sisi ni muti mtu kidogo hivi ama muti hivi hivi is the head of a state and is the one governing this country lazima mwe na heshima even you wewe hata nyinyi chief justice what all of you you are under the presidency of this republic of Kenya even though the law is higher than the president, that is okay. But the president is a custodian. Yeye ndiyo nachunga hii katiba ya chamuri ya Kenya. Aimanisi kwamba kama anachunga katiba, nyinyi kasi yeye ni kuchokosa ya. He's not. He's not. Sio mtu ya kuchokosa na mna hiyo. Sio mtu ya kuangalesha. Sio kama ni mtu mdogo mdogo kama hii. Wa Kenya milioni nani walichakua ya. Na nyinyi mkachakuliwa na watu kumina ambili. Eh, kama chief justice na wale wengine watu wachache hasa ten commission peke yake walifanya kazi hiyo hasa ten commission hasa walifanya kazi hiyo but president alichaguliwa na over 8 million people so unataka kulinganisha na mtu kama unasema kwamba lazima a behave like you you can't you can't a behave of what you say so he has to make a decision ambaye itakuja kusaidia maisha ya Kenya nyinyi mkipeleka kesi kwa njia mbaya he has to bring the country and I want to advise the fellows like Raila, Raila, Raila Molodinga and his team. Waja sahi kutoka inje na kusema, oh, waja kutisha mahaka masetu, where were you? The other time you listen kwa mahaka masetu, siwezi kuheshimu wa musi mahaka masetu. Lewi, umerudu kusema kwa mba, President Ruta should respect the, 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 the constitution, na lasi maheshimu mahaka masetu. And what about you? Wati mahaka masetu, mambo ya mandamano, Usiendeleza mambo ya maandamano sababu na mali ya watu. Si ulienda barabara. Nani alikaita mahakama? Si ni wewe Raila Amolo Odinga. Saa hii unajibanya takatibu. Unakuja kusema oh Ruta should respect uh, judiciary. And the other time what are you doing? Aje ni mambo ya kuchifanya 
saa zingine eh acha safi wakati tunaona kwamba nyinyi mlikuwa ni wachafu tu William Ruto kama kuna mtu alikuja kufuata sheria ni William Samuel Ruto na na want to tell Raila from today from government here Raila Amolo Dinga mambo ya kutisha watu na mambo ya maandamano let me tell you my friend mlikuja na maandamano ukachema tu lazima tuongee na William Samuel Ruto kwa hii mambo ya bad person mkaenda kuongea maneno ikakuja ikasemekana hii na hii na hii na hii hata wewe mwenyewe ukatangaza kwamba mambo ya mambo ya eh, mambo ya uchumi ama hii maisha kwenda juu yule ambaye tatako leo shida yote ni serikali iliyoko mamlakani yewe huna uwezo ni lini umekuwa na uwezo tena kusurudisha serikali atiwaguje urutius pay ya fit kenya serikali atarutius na mlakani mafuta ile ali tunia tena lalameka sema kwamba hasa mwaka wa 2024 ile percentage ya uchumi katika dunia imekucha chini na haitakuwa mzuri sana na unakuja tanganya wa Kenya hapa kwamba we want to, nataka president eh, arudishe vitu chini atarudisha namna gani atarudisha maisha hii imeenda juu kwa njia gani it is has kama Kenyans tuongee ni njia gani tunaweza kuchi kuchimutu kama wa Kenya ni chakula gani tunaweza kutengeneza ndio uweze kurudisha maisha chini that is why ameleta mbolea chini twendeni shamba hiyo ndio njia moja ambayo itasaidia sisi. Lakini mambo ya kusema tutaenda maandamano you cannot take us always round kama kama Marinda kusungusha sisi wa Kenya. Wameruka sasa hivi. Awa ni we have to follow you again. Because ume umemambi pitia kumeleta mesa umekubaliana hii. Hii ingine unaanza sasa kusema oh kama watasikia we tutaenda kwa maandamano. Wewe unaenda maandamano na nani? Kenyans wamechoka. Kenyans sasa hivi wako na shughuli kusema chioni takula nini. Kenyans wamechoka wanataka kupeleka watoto wao shule. Kenya si wamechoka, wanataka kuona njia kani waweza kubadilisha maisha yao kwenda mbele. So kwa hivyo I want to tell Raila Amolo Odinga, mambo ya maandamano yako. Maandamano yako. Mimi nafikiri Kindiki ako sawa, amepanga mzuri. So ukijaribu tu sauri yako. Na mimi nataka niambie Kindiki leo. Kama maandamano Raila atatengeneza maandamano should be lazima awe kwenda ndani. Awaje kutishatisha watu. Na mimi nataka kusema kwamba kisu ifanya kazi hii watu kutishatisha watu hii imewe kiwango ambayo imetosha William Ruto sio mtu akutishi kutishiwa kila siku amepewa kazi kufanyia watu wananchi kazi lakini sio watu kuja kutishatisha eh ati tutafanya hii tutafanya kesi kama kama mtoto ambao naambia usipojunga mtoto utakuja piga ya mtoto utapiga ya kiboko chuni hapana this is a Kenya president elected by the people and he has the mandate to lead Kenya in the way Kenya wants him to lead na sio lazima wewe ukuje tena umeshindwa na ukuja kusumbua hata na kile you wait us 20000 dukutane kama utakuwa kama utakuwa na uwezo then we can meet with you tupambane tena tukunyorose ukiendanga na mimi nataka niambie i want to i want to call i want to talk to huru mwegai kenyatta tabatali ndugu yangu huru huru kula retirement yako ndugu yangu waje kuharibu mali ya wananchi yenye ulipa Waje kuharibu mali ya wananchi yenye umeipa katika Kenya hii. Kwenda kununua kutumia kuharibu kuharibu Kenya. Kuharibu usalama ya nchi, kuchochea wakora kuharibu nchi. Nataka nikwambie huru. Kenya unapanga na Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Amolo Odinga ana pesa lakini you are the one funding. Ike wao sambao hata hii mambo ya maandamano uko ndani. Hata hii mambo ya mungike uko ndani. Lakini nataka nishukuru kindiki kwa sababu isa strong and he knows lije kwa wakili he knows very well to govern on these issues of insecurity mambo ya violence he knows well he will uh, nataka niambie kwamba uhuru moyo wake nyata ukiendelea na mnai ndugu yangu ndugu yangu utaharibu heshima yako kwa hiyo tumia retirement yako tumia pesa yako kama umeona pesa imekuwa mingi patia Patia William Samuel Ruto aendeshe naye serikali. Hii pesa ya city imekuwa mingi. Na kuna mtu amesema juzi kwamba hii mashamba yote mmenyang'anya katika Kenya hii. Eh? Inafaa ipatiwe watu ndio watu walima, watu wa chakula. Mtu kwa na eka karibu milioni moja na wakenya wa Kenya karibu milioni moja hawana hawana mashamba na wewe na eka kata. Eh? Na inaka idol. Na wewe peke yako wewe ni wanyinyi wa church ambao mnatumia kama inawezekana uone the, 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 the constitution sheria ya mashamba ipatilishwe kama inawezekana kama unaweza kuona mashamba 
is is it thirty thousand thirty thousand yen thirty thousand hectares the whole nine. If you give me, you know what I am. When you want to always go, go go find your man be a, go cultivate. You must go and check where you touch that kind of thing. Now, come on, we go to Shamba. Go to Sharia. You wake. Come on, we'll meet. Pay on Shamba. What we'll meet. What we'll do. But here, Jacola. Because if you, we cannot have a a a big land and buy in Hajjol while other Kenyans are suffering. Come on, be Jacola. Another one is be a who will make it. We will end up cooler time and now. Uzi tusumbue tena, imewe mwepika mwisho, ume tusumbua, tume kujunguza, tumeona, niwe unafan mambu ya, mambu ya violence katika inji hii. Unafan mambu ya mandamano katika inji hii. Unafan hii wakora ya, 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 ya opposition kusumbua serikali yetu. Hata hii mambu ya judiciary uko ndani. Because ina, wasaka nache, unasikia rea kesho, hapa imekatalewa na koti. Imekatalewa na koti. Ile hali nyi ndio munakata. Mugikata, mugona kama sergalu wame, wame embelemen, unamie, unatume watu yoni kutini. Unaona mutu kama hii na hitu nini hii? Oki ya motata. Eh? Tangia wakabla hata chagulia wakamba seneta. Unashanga, oki ya motata na bata wa pesa. Eh? Ya kupeleka kesi kutini. Unashindwa. Lakini kumbe kuna wakora walikuwa natumia okio, ah, mbaka saai, mbaka chuzo okio nasema, maisha yangu kwa hali atari. Uto li, okio ya okio, motata wachana. Wacha, wacha, wacha kutumika kwa haribu manifesti ya serikali. Hii mambi ya kusema, mimi kwa wa, maisha nga wale atari, ni nini ulifanya? Pengine unajishuko ile, ile mchafu umefanya, inakuandama. Ina so kwa hivyo nataka ni semi ya kwamba, I want to advise, ni kimaliza. Our judiciary, mchua kwamba, William Ruto, ni mutu ambaye na pota sheria. Akisema, mimi nataka kuhome, aanse kuchungusa, Chungusa, chungusa watu yungu. Chungusa, nini hini ya sema. Waje tu kukimbilia chuu. Pile LSK, President alikimbia tu na kusema. Watu taenda mandamani. Mandamani gani wana enda. Mandamani gani ya mulenda mandamani sikuile kushitutumu koti kwamba. Awa tupatie right ya kusikisa makasi kesi itu. Leo muna rutu kusema, oh, we are supporting the judiciary. Wewe unaweza kanaje, mwenye wana tetea. Wale watu LSK wakili wana tetea hata mtu tambea umeua mtu. Mbaka natolewe nje. Na unasema unatatea Kenya hii. Kama kuna watu wawezi kwa aminio katika Kenya ni mawakili. Because wanatakeneza uongo kwa hakweli. Kutakeneza ukweli kwa uongo. So you cannot, atuta amini nyinyi. Yeah. So kitiben, churches, kitiben kwa mba they are not corrupt. Might be you are there. Hata nyimu kondani. Kwa kesi yako mungine kutaka ibite, you have to, go, to corrupt. So that you, you win your case.